Alter Ego issue number one. This was given to me uh, to review and I'm gonna review it using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment, each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get in any category. The writer here is Ben Wan and the artist is Abu D. I I hope I'm pronouncing those names correctly. Um, so this is an independent comic, it's on digital. You can get it through various sources. I think Amazon's on there. And um, it's basically sort of this, I don't wanna say future, but like, alternate kind of reality where this th these gangs have sort of taken over Detroit and each gang has like a faction head and there's this character here Jace who's trying to infiltrate them so he wants revenge slash he wants to infiltrate them some cops get onto him and they want him uh, to feed them information and intel and that kind of a stuff each gang or each faction has different unique abilities so it's a superhero thing there's like some like vampire guys there's like a girl that can duplicate herself that kind of a thing i'm gonna give the storyline a 1.5 i actually really liked the storyline um it's pretty cool it's nothing we haven't seen before so i can't really give it a full score of two out of two because i've seen this kind of thing before obviously but i think the writer knows that he's doing this um just as a something he loves so clearly the writer loves this kind of story and wants to bring it to life in this comic. And they've done pretty good. Um, decent amount, you know, decent dialogue. Um, I understand what's going on pretty clearly. Like I, I, I get it. I'm sort of, I am on the protagonist side. Uh, the villains are, you know, bastards. So that's good. Everything is, is good with that. For the pacing, I'll give the pacing a 1.5 as well. I really liked the pacing it was some action then a bunch of story and you're you're kind of told the story very quickly in an exposition dump which does affect pacing a little bit which is why i can't give it a two out of two it's sort of an exposition dump and then you get on with it but once you get on with it it's only 27 pages this is on digital and it starts to flow nicely after that okay so for the art i'm gonna have to give it a 0 0.5 so zero would be like awful and two would be amazing. For me, this art was like not that great in my opinion. It's okay. This could be the digital copy. Um, it just, I, it just seems like it's just too, I don't want to say simple. It might be too simple. It just feels like, yeah, maybe just too simple. And I feel that sometimes, you know, some of the lighting might be off or whatever. So the the art is really what hurt this one for me from giving it a really high score. It's like, I mean, you know, I can't, I guess I can't draw it, right? So it's better than that, but it's just not doing, it's just not doing anything for me at all. So unfortunately, that's the one thing I have to ding this on. Um, and because of that, it will affect a little bit, of, a little bit of the enjoyment factor as well. Um... For the characters, I'll give it a one. The characters aren't bad. The, the villains and their heads are not too bad. And I read this um, a, a couple of days ago and I, I sat on it to let it simmer because this isn't Marvel or DC. So it's, it's if you don't know the characters, it's difficult for issue number one. It's not like, you know, nobody here is going to be better than, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Wolverine, Cyclops, Spider-Man, Hulk, whatever, right? Daredevil. These are all new characters, so you have to sort of let it sink in a little bit, you know. You know so when I woke up the next day, that I was I thinking like, oh man, yeah, I gotta, you know. So I'll give it a one. I do like the characters and they're fine. It's an issue one, so I'm not dying over them. We have to see how this plays out um, with following issues. For the enjoyment factor, I'll give it a one. Like, it was okay. So if I give something a zero, that means it's garbage. If I give it a two, that means it's amazing. So I'll, I'll give the enjoyment factor a one. It was okay. I didn't hate it, uh, but I didn't love it. Would I get issue two? Um, maybe, maybe. So I'm giving it an overall score of 5.5 .5 out of 10. And that sounds, you know, not great, but it's sort of the okay. So if every category got a one, you'd have a five out of 10 and a five out of 10 would be like, it was okay. You know, most comics should really be around seven or so. Like, you know, unless you get something really spectacular, like seven, seven and eight is like, wow, that was like seven and eight. Yeah, I get it. Like if I say something's a seven, you should for sure get it. This one, you'll have to make your decision on your own. See if you think it's good. I actually like the story. So I think if the art 
spoke to me a little bit more, this would have been a bit better for me. So it's just really the art. Um, and the characters were cool, but like I wasn't super dying over the characters. So really the art needs to be fixed up a bit and the characters need to little, be a bit more um, defined. Or maybe issue one should just focus on one of the factions and then introduce more factions as you go. They just kind of introduce them all very quickly in the in the exposition dump in the beginning, which is why I give the story a 1.5. Um, and then you're left to kind of just read along and see what happens. I think it would have been better to focus on one at a time and then, you know, go that way. But anyways, so 5.5 out of 10, I still thought it was okay. Independent comic. So, hey, at least they're bringing out comics and doing something. It's not a remake of anything. It's not, it's not a stolen character. It is your original, so I'm going to give it props for that. That's it, everybody. If you liked the video, please remember to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching. Until next time.